Hello everybody, before I get started with anything in this video, I wanted to let you guys know that this particular video that I'm making today is probably going to be a little long, and the reason why I say that is because I want to discuss something that is very important to me. Now, typically when I make videos, I usually like to provide links to the stories that I talk about. However, this video is going to be different. I'm not going to provide any links at all in any way, shape, or form because I want to share my own personal thoughts about a subject that is very important to me. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below at the end of this video because, again, I would really be interested on in seeing what you guys have to say about this issue that I'm going to be talking about. Now, originally, I was going to talk about discrimination against atheists when it comes to the Boy Scouts. However, I eventually determined that that's not the only issue that I'm going to be talking about in this video when it comes to discrimination because personally, to me, the issue goes deeper than that. And there are many things that need to be addressed in this country because discrimination against atheists is a very serious problem in this country and it is something that does need to be addressed. So I'm going to be taking this time to talk about a couple of things that I have a problem with when it comes to discrimination against atheists. Okay guys, first and foremost, I wanted to take this opportunity to again congratulate the LGBT community for finally being able to join the Boy Scouts. And I want you guys to know that this is something that I have supported since day one. And when it comes to rights, I think that you guys have fought long and hard for what you rightfully deserve. And I have to say that I admire the courage that you guys possess when it comes to dealing with things in your personal lives. Because you have basically looked at discrimination right in the face and basically said, fuck you. You know, and that's something that I admire. And I really appreciate the fact that you guys have so much courage when it comes to facing those bigots out there and what they have to offer. However... When it comes to discrimination in the Boy Scout community, I still think that it's a significant problem because a lot of people within the Boy Scout community think that it's necessary to discriminate against atheists and they try to prevent them from joining the Boy Scouts because they somehow think that because we lack a belief in a God or gods that we are somehow a threat to their children or other adults and that's simply not the case. If given the opportunity, I'm pretty sure that atheists would serve as a positive impact within the Boy Scout community. They would do a lot of things with the children that would be educational when it comes to camping, etc., etc. And if they are given the opportunity to do these things, I'm pretty sure that they would make a lot of people happy. However, there's this invisible barrier, if you will, when it comes to discrimination. Because again, a lot of people think that atheists are horrible, that we have no moral foundation at all in any way, shape, or form and that we don't have anything of value to teach children. And that's something that I hate. This problem in this country is a significant problem when it comes to discrimination against atheists. And it's something that I will not stand for, plain and simple. I don't condone this type of behavior when people within the Boy Scout community treat atheists like garbage. A lot of people treat atheists like garbage, and it is something that needs to stop. There are a lot of other areas in this country where atheists get discriminated against. For example, I don't think that it's possible right now for an atheist to become a president. Because there are so many people out there that actually believe that because we lack a belief in a God or gods that we can't make a rational or moral decision when it comes to running this country. And that's simply not the case for me. I actually think that an atheist would run this country a lot better than Christians have over the years. We have seen evidence for this time and time again. You can tell Christians this until you're blue in the face, but they won't consider it. They won't pay attention to the facts because they think that it's appropriate to discriminate against atheists. They think that it's appropriate to run atheists through the mud, and they absolutely have no problem doing that. This discrimination against atheists within Capitol Hill is a significant problem.
And I think that atheists need to be allowed to have the opportunity to actually have seats of power. I think that this would serve as a positive impact for this country. And again, I think that this would be an amazing accomplishment for this country if atheists were to be allowed to be a president or a governor, if you will. And that's how I feel about the situation, because we atheists are capable of making rational decisions. We are capable of making moral decisions. And it's something that you bigots out there need to realize. You need to break down that wall and actually give us a chance to participate in everything that everybody else participates in. Because it's complete nonsense when you think that it's necessary to hold us back from things that we rightfully deserve to have. And that's how I feel about it. I have heard of people discriminating against atheists when it comes to adopting children or when it comes to having custody of their own biological children. I have read article after article about how people discriminate against atheists when it comes to the public school system as well. They basically do not allow atheists to have after school organizations. They don't allow atheists to participate in a lot of things when it comes to the public school system. There are atheists in public schools who are being bullied. There are atheists in public schools who are being picked on and constantly ridiculed by their fellow students, by the teachers, by principals, etc., etc. There are atheists being threatened constantly all of the time with violence within their own neighborhoods, and this is a problem that does need to be addressed. And hopefully one day all of this nonsense can actually stop because atheists do not deserve any of this negative attention that these people have to offer. They do not deserve to be discriminated against by these individuals. We have every right to be what we want to be in this country. We have every right to do what we want to do in this country as long as it does not affect other people badly. That is something that you guys need to realize. And it is something that I will continue to stand for time and time again. Because a lot of people within this country don't want to see atheists succeed in this country. They don't want to see atheists make it in any way, shape, or form when it comes to things in their everyday communities. They think atheists will never serve as a positive impact in public school systems or in social constructs that these people have come up with. It is simply ridiculous. And one day, eventually, I actually hope that this wall of bigotry and discrimination will actually be broken down. And I hope that atheists will finally have the opportunity to get the things that they rightfully deserve in this country. Atheists need to be taken seriously because we are human beings too. And for you guys to actually realize that would be an amazing accomplishment because right now I don't see it happening anytime soon because of your bigotry and your dishonesty. And the more that you continue with this type of behavior, the more of a problem it's going to create for atheists. Bottom line, guys, I think that discrimination against atheists needs to be completely eradicated from this country. More importantly, I think that discrimination in general should be completely eradicated. Because if we don't do anything about it, it's only going to create bigger problems in the long run. And eventually, society is going to have a bigger division between it. And it's something that doesn't need to happen in the first place. And I know that people out there really like discrimination. They really like bigotry. They really like all of this nonsense. Because they want people to live like them. They want people to think like them. They want people to behave like them. When that isn't going to happen. You guys have a right to think the way that you think. You guys have a right to behave the way that you behave. You guys have a right to live the lives that you are living now. But what you have to realize is that people have a right to live their lives too, despite the fact that it is different from yours. You do not have a right to dictate what a person can and cannot do with their own lives. You don't have a right to discriminate against another individual simply because they are atheist, or simply because they are black, or simply because they are a woman. That's stupid. That's stupidity at its finest. A lot of people out there need to realize that equality is very important for this society because if we don't realize this, it's only going to eat away at the very fabric of human nature and we are eventually going to destroy ourselves. 
And I know that there's a lot of people that probably actually want that to happen. And those people are actually pathetic. But you know what? I support their right to think that way. Just like they should support other people's right to think differently from them. It's all about equality. I continue to stand for equality. I continue to stand and promote equality like there is no tomorrow. Because there is a possibility for that. You know? And that's how I feel about this situation. So when it comes to discrimination, I think that it needs to be completely eradicated from our everyday lives. I think that this type of thing needs to be exterminated. And I think in order for us to solve all of these problems, we have to break down all of these barriers when it comes to discrimination against atheists or when it comes to discrimination against anyone. We have to destroy all of these barriers and actually be able to have the confidence to live life without worrying about other individuals in some corner ridiculing us for doing what we are doing. It's completely ridiculous. And that's how I feel about it. So feel free to share this video with anyone that might be interested, whether it be on Facebook, Google+, Tumblr, Reddit, Yahoo, or wherever you guys hang out. Till next time, The Quiet Atheist is out. And remember, if you can't be good, be good at it. Most of all, thank you all for watching, and I will see you next video.